Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, five, no, three, <laughs> three coins that could potentially do a 50x gain from the prices that we see today. I would have done five, but I need to keep it short because sometimes I talk too long. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. And yeah, who knows? I might do five. I might just keep them coming and just do another video with five. But before I do so, on this video, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, five, no, three... <laughs> It's because I've been doing too many coins, five this and five that. I've got five in my head. See, five, five. Anyway, three coins. Coin number one, Pirate Chain. Pirate Chain could potentially do a 50x gain from now. And I'm touching the table when I do this. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. Let's take a look at Pirate Chain. Ugh, give me words out. Pirate Chain. I've been checking their roadmap. I'm interested in this coin. It looks really, really good. It's basically a privacy type coin. Now, I know there's coins like the, uh, what do you call it? It's like the Moneros and the Dash. And if you ain't heard of them, you can check them out in your own time. Because there's a few pirate, uh, pirate coins. <laughs> private uh, coins out there. This is a relatively new one, I think. Let me just check. Oh, no, I'm saying relatively new. How long has it been out for? Okay, so this has actually been out since, well, yeah, I suppose you can call it, well, 2019. For, <laughs> I suppose if you compare it to the market of like since it's been out since 2010, it's relatively new. But nah, it's been out since 2019. It's had a recent spike, but I think there's you know room for this coin to to last for a while. You know, again, privacy is an important thing, and you know when it comes to our spending, like think of it like this: you've got a bank card in your wallet or in your purse. Now, when you spend stuff, who knows what you're buying? Because the man on the other side doesn't know what you're buying, well, unless you're in Tesco's, and then he can see how much he's put through the thing, you know, beep, 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 you know what I mean, can't even get it out. But apart from that, everyone else standing behind you in the line don't know what you're buying. So why should everybody on the blockchain be, be able to see what's being spent? Now, look, that, that's the way the blockchain's built. The blockchain's built for transparency for everybody to see every single transaction but that means people can see your transactions and if you was to uh, send stuff from your i don't know your binance or from your coinbase they can see what well, the owners the founders can see where you're sending stuff this is where privacy coins come into place and i think that this could stand tall like the like the moneros and like the dashes i like the whole concept pirate because it's like a pirate ah you know piracy privacy any kind of private, whatever you want to think about. Anyway, let's just read through. Look, pirate chain Arr, is a hundred percent private and <laughs> private <laughs> pirate. It's gonna get my my mind twisted. Send cryptocurrency. It uses a privacy. I was gonna say piracy. Privacy protocol that cannot be compromised by other. Let me just highlight the whole lot by other users' <laughs> activity on the network. Most privacy coins. Is that coins? Yes, it's coins. <laughs> uh, listen, my eyes are all over the place right now. Are riddled with holes created by optional privacy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pri Ugh, I'm not the best at reading. I don't care, though. Pirate Chain uses ZK Snarks. Yeah, Snarks? To shield 100% of the peer-to-peer -peer transactions on the blockchain. That's big. So when you send something somewhere... Now, you know what? I know these pirate-type, privacy-type coins may be used for criminals, but I think that there's going to be a good use for it for the average person. Like I said, when you buy stuff in the shopping uh, mall, you don't want people knowing what your car details and what you sent and how much you spent and, and how much you got left and blah, blah, blah. That's why we have our phones on our... And you can log in on your app. But man, imagine you log in on your app to see how much you've got in your bank and then 15 other people are standing there looking at your phone. <laughs> That's what it's like on the blockchain. This is why coins like this could really become a, you know, an important thing. And I think that, you know, all privacy type coins, you know, like the Dash and the Moneros and all them are going to have a nice little run sometime soon. And Pirate Chain could be the one to run with it. Now, look, if it was to do that and we saw a 50x gain, what are we looking at? Because right now the market cap size is eight. 829 million ish and i'm going to show you what a 50x gain oh, get my words out gain looks like uh let's take this 
times it by 50, because this is what I'm talking, right? You'd be looking at a $41 billion market cap. I'm not asking for hundreds of billions, but you know, this could be possible. Do your own research before you invest, like I said, because it's not investment advice. I'm just putting it out there to you to show you what I believe can potentially do a 50x gain from the prices that we see today. And you know, this is bit of burp action this one's been standing tall and like you saw at the start of the video i was checking the roadmap these are the things that you should be doing checking to see what their milestones are what they're planning to do planning to achieve and they've been achieving their goals over the years and this is where we are now this is the bit where we should be looking to see what they can do i wanted to look back and see what they had done and yeah i'm impressed with it overall because if i can now start using a coin to send privately i'm gonna do that so then i don't have to keep letting people know what i'm doing that's a good idea to me. Anyway, you know, when you see a 50x gain, 41 billion, you can basically take this price here and times it by 50. I'm going to show you what we're looking at. We would be looking at a, uh, wherever it is, here we go, 4 times, oh, £4.62 times by 50, a £231 price for Pirate Chain. It could be possible. Let me show you what it looks like in dollars. Let's delete all this. Oh, there you go. £2.31 is roughly $320, you know, 266 euros, 35,061 yen. That's the kind of price that we could be seeing for Pirate Chain when it does a 50x gain. Coin number two. Actually, before I show you coin number two, I want to actually show you why this also could be possible because I'm just looking at the, the supply. <laughs> I was going to go, but it's got $200 million supply. Now, when I look at this, I see, I see something similar to, well, look, let's, let's compare supplies. Let me grab up um, Ethereum, because Ethereum has $115 million in supply. $115 million, Pirate Chain, $200 million, very similar. I mean, look what uh, total supply, $181 million. They're similar. I know there's like, what, $75 million difference? But even if it was, even if we was to say, pirate chain had double the amount right it it should technically be able to do half the price of this because if it's you know if we talk scarcity when you talk scarcity something that is like more harder to get hold of or or less harder to get hold of you can really you know compare the prices and have a look so if a coin with you know 115 million can hit 2500 you best believe that it's possible for this coin to hit half the price because it's double the scarcity right so i won't i can't really say like that tender looking finger juicy licking <laughs> But, what am I laughing for? But, you know, because it needs to be, if I see a coin that's less scarce, then you best believe them words are coming out proper. But yeah, you know, it could potentially go to these numbers that I'm saying. So yeah, keep that in mind. Always look at the supply when you look at these coins to see how much there is. Coin number two. Gifto. Or is it Gifto? You let me know if you've been investing into this. Now, this one's interesting because... I like the foundation of this project. I like that, you know, you can make this well. It's all based on GIFs, but <laughs> it's been clever. And, or GIF, what do you call it? A GIF, a GIF. Look, they're supporting all different types of platforms, you know, WhatsApp, face, Facebook chat, all these kind of chats. You know, virtual gifting protocol for an open world. Scroll down here. I found it really interesting. And I'm going to break down why I think it could do a 50x, but just something, just something a bit... Uh, <laughs> just get my words out i wanted to show you that um you know it actually it just if it goes back to its all-time high <laughs> you could potentially be looking at a 15x gain i'm gonna go there in a second i can't even get my words out but i'm not cutting nothing i'm keeping it all in raw fresh and organic like tesco's because people cut this stuff but i don't i don't care you hear it raw anyway token agnostic <laughs> You ready for this? Oh, where's my little hot? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All tokens can be used to create, send, and redeem gifts, not just GTO. So I like the fact that they're building a platform where you can send people gifts, meaning your GTO coins. Like if you need someone that someone just needs to go and buy themselves some bread and milk, <laughs> you say, "Oh, there you go. There's some GTO coins. Going to get some." I'm guessing, right? Because it says GTO, not just GTO. You can also send gifts and redeem right but this whole concept looks like it's based off of creating gif i might be wrong let me know but if i'm right it looks like that because i'm seeing a lot of stickers that look like gifs and things like that but you know if you come here like unleash your crypto creativity with gifto gift creator so they've got a bunch of things you can do here like like they said the redeem kind of thing collectibles you know limited editions tradables 
ticket ticker ticker type okay look they got all kind of things it says try beta you can try that in your own time if you want to do that but this project stands out to me and i think that there's room for this to grow especially after showing you that you know it hasn't even gone back to its last all-time high if it was you know i've been looking at these coins in the past all of these coins the ethereums the, the xrps the doge coins the chain links and all these light coins they've all come back to their all-time highs but this one hasn't yet so i said to myself hmm well maybe it could do a 50x if it just goes back to its all-time high before which is it's not let me get to the tip of the mountain let me just come down here and show you its last all-time high right its last all-time high for gift though was 75 pence and it's sitting on five pence now almost six pence so yeah if it was to go back just to its all-time high you'd be looking at 15 times your money back which is mad crazy ludicrous bomb again not investment advice but you know you need to do your own research on something like this um just to go through the platform a bit more gto token does this talk about the tokenomics of this coin let me just have a look let me have a look. Oh, it's just scrolling me down here. Uh, Gifto chain welcomes ecosystem participants. Hold on. Is this the one that was built on the NEO blockchain? I need to check because there was a coin built on something. I don't know. Oh, has this got its own blockchain now? I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out a bit more. But I like the idea of this. Look, you can, what is this saying that you can stake for gifting? Stake GTO. Nah. You're telling me you can stake this coin? Because you best believe I'm going to stake this if I can. Stake GTO to reduce fees, unlock privileges for gift creation and more. Stake GTO. Run a node. Ross. They're looking to do all sorts with Gifto. But yeah, I'm going to break down the tokenomics. Look into this in your own time. There's a lot to look at. Uh, I really do find it interesting. What just sparked my attention the most was the fact that, you know, just this bit here. I know this can do a 50x now, but <laughs> just this bit here, the fact that it hasn't even gone back to its all-time high yet, I believe that, again, I can't base, you know, we, we, I say we, we can't base the past on the future because just because it happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again, right? So we can't base that on that. But I believe that it can do that purely for the fact that I've seen the rest of the crypto market go back to their highs and if not higher. So I have to believe that Gifto can do that. But look at the price. Five pence. Look at the market cap. Sorry, not the price. 44 million. It's tiny. It's a baby. And it's got 20 million in volume. There's a lot of people paying attention to Gifto right now now you best believe and you know what if you was a patreon of mine you would have known if i was buying gift though because i let them know <laughs> you best look the way i see it is right <laughs> i don't mean to be kind of like uh, like com comedic comedic comedy comedy you know what i mean i don't mean to be a comedian but when i look at this sitting at five pence i like to just take that risk because like I said, I'd be happy if it just to go back to all-time highs. That's 15 times my money. If it did that, I'd be laughing. What if it does higher? What if it really does this 50x gain? Hold on, look, because copy this. I'm going to show you. Let me show you this. A 50x gain, 50 times your money. Times that by 50, you'd be looking at a $2 billion market cap. I'm not asking for tens of billions. I'm saying $2 billion. It's possible bit of silence there <laughs> i don't know why i did the because that's usually after the bomb but two billion market cap is possible especially when you look at coins that are floating in this market space right now above two million a lot of them seven billion eight billion six billion five billion where is two billion let me scroll down look i'm still at three billion uh two billion is around here look all these coins around here you know 50s yeah sort of like the top 50 ish coins are sitting on two billion that could be possible for this coin 50x because when you see a 50x you basically be taking this price here times in that by 50 actually i'm going to get the one as well just after that 0 0.582 that's fine i'll take that and we'll take that and times it by 50 what price are we going to be seeing uh times that by 50 you'd be looking at a two pan 91 pan uh, price for gift though and i'm going to show you that in dollars that's actually mad when you think of it like that it's mad crazy ludicrous bomb uh two pound 91 you are looking at a price of four what no four dollars what is it sitting on eight cents in it 
zero point zero five is like yeah, it's like eight eight five eight. It's like eight cents. Eight cents to four dollars is mad. Crazy. Ludicrous. Bum. One thing I didn't do, right? I just want to quickly do it. Pirate chain. Let's just grab up pirate chain real quick. Because I'm going to do it with all coins. I want to. Because if you was to invest some money into pirate chain, this is Zillica. I always Every time I grab up coin gecko, this is always like the... Because I keep searching it the most, you see. Let's just type pirate chain. Because I want to see how much you could actually potentially make on your gains, right? Well, I suppose a thousand pounds would be 50 grand, innit? Which is mad, really. But, uh, you know, keep it real. Uh, I really want to do it like this. So a thousand pounds would give you 216 coins, 216.45. And, you know, I know I've gone back on myself here, but I really want to do this. And then when you see Pirate Chain do a 50x gain from where it is today, where's the price of Pirate Chain here? £4.60. I said £231 price, right? If I remember correctly, I can find it in here. Uh, yeah, 231 So you times that by 231 So this gives us an exact region of how much you can make. You'd be looking at 49 Okay, so 5p difference. 49000 That's That's not bad. You are pretty much looking at 50 times your money back on these coins. So I say 50, because sometimes you do 50x, right? But if you grab more of the coin, especially if they're under a pound, you get more than your 50x. You best believe. It's mad, crazy, ludicrous, bum. So, for example, I don't know why Ethereum's on there. This one here, if it went to what? £2.91. You Let's do this. Let's grab up Gifto. Uh, where's Gifto? Uh, to be fair, with these coins, I've, I'm putting a thousand pounds. I would probably only invest what you could afford to lose. Um, let me just grab this up, gift though. Uh, so you know, even and again, I'm going to be realistic for the very you know super realistic average person. Even if you invested something like two hundred pounds, because you know fifty times money back on two hundred quid, that's very doable for your baby mums, your you know your brother next door, <laughs> or your friend's brother next door, your sister's auntie. You know these kind of people, they could put that kind of money into this. Uh, again, not investment advice, but that would give you roughly 3,432. I'm being super realistic because people keep, keep going to me, yeah, but you keep saying a thousand pounds in every video. But that's just an average of if you had your thousand pounds and if you wanted to spend it into this coin or that coin or if you broke it up into pieces, look, 200 pounds, right? 3,433. It's going up, right? Let's copy this. Pull it in here. Let's pull it in here. Times it by, like I said, what, £2.91? £2.91, when it does a £2.91 price, you'd be looking at, let's just grab it right here, you're going to turn your £200 investment into £9,990, mad, crazy, ludicrous, boom, look, I've done this in my videos, recently, I've been saying, look, I've turned this into this in a month, turned this into this in a year, and I'm going to be doing more videos like that because it's good to see how these money, how money can be made with just little investments, little prices to invest. And, you know, £200, it, it, it can be a lot for some people. I know this because I've been there when I struggled in my life. But it could also change your life because t that's, you're talking 10 grand almost. You're, you're talking almost 10 grand. So that could be life changing for some. And again, if it just does a, a what, a 15 times its money because it's gone back to all-time high. Anyway, I'm not saying no more on that. Third coin. You best believe I've been talking about it. I'm going to keep talking about it. MemePad. Now, MemePad is doing a lot of things with their project. And, you know, they are still relatively new. They have not been out long. The 1st of May is when they first came out. Had a little pump. Had a little dump because of the bots and people selling off and stuff. But not massively. You know, we're still, it's still holding relatively strong. And I think it's about, you know, set to explode. And I really do think that this coin would be one of the fastest coins you see do 100x. But I'm just putting it on 50x today because I really want to show you the potential. You should be checking out their thing like their Twitter because they're constantly updating you on things that's going on with the project they just got a listing with MXC which is big it's an exchange and I think it's in China let me know if I'm wrong there yeah Chinese market they're now opening up MemePad the coin to thousands of more people in that area in Asia and in my eyes I can you know if it's easy to get hold of because some people struggle with pancake but if it's easy to get hold of on an exchange you best believe people will buy that easily not to mention hold on what's they've got other things as well I saw another partnership somewhere down here I'll just show you 
Uh, I was going to say, not to mention that they're now going to be offering staking soon, which you can stake your... <laughs> Love that. <laughs> that's just me chilling, you know. But that's my cheap version of... <laughs> this is my cheap version of a, a hot tub. <laughs> Because I can't afford, well, I, I can now. But in the days, you know, you can't, you, you're too broke and you can't afford a, 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 what you call it, a bubble machine. What you call it? Jacuzzi. I just said it. You can't afford jacuzzi. So you just put, sit in one of these wooden tubs and just shake your hands forward and backwards to create the bubbles. <laughs> what am I laughing for? But that's me. Uh, but yeah, what I'm saying is they've got partnerships happening. The idea of staking your coins could be big for this platform. You best believe. I'm scrolling down. Look, X here. What's this? Uh, what is it? X Network Capital, look into this as well because you know there's some partnerships going on with this coin, and everybody that's into meme pad right now is waiting for that pump. Actually, there's one last thing I want to show you on the Twitter which really does make sense for this coin and really actually makes me believe that this is really going to explode. And you, you wouldn't believe it because it's based on another coin, and you think, huh? How can another coin make this coin explode? I'm going to show you, and it's one popular coin, Doge Coin. This right here, right, shows how high Dogecoin went. And for me, I agree with what they're saying. MemePad is based on, you know, meme slash coins, and it's an IDO launch pad, an initial decentralized exchange offering launch pad, which means all these new coins, just like meme, uh, Dogecoin, you got the Dogecoins and the Safe Moons. People want to buy into these right now because they're getting rich. They're watching their friends and their uncles get rich, and their sisters and their cousins get rich. So they need to find the next type of meme slash charity type coin. Where do you think they're going to be launched? meme pad <laughs> you best believe they're gonna have a lot of people watching this space and when i see news like this like you know dogecoin pump and the higher dogecoin pumps the more bullish i get with meme pad because i know there's a a need for meme type coins right now people like them love them and they're all making money from them that's why i'm still bullish on this coin and you best believe when you can stake it <sighs> That's all I can say, because you're going to be making more meme pad coins, which you can obviously either use to sell off or you can add it to your portfolio and get richer. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. So those were my three coins. Let me just break this down, because what would you see at a 50x? Right now, you can't see the market cap on here. There's a few ways you can do it. You can take the supply times it by the price. It'll give you the market cap. Or you can look at the charts over here. Let's just scroll up. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Hold on. I just zoomed my chart out. I'll show you. I don't, this is for another video. I just wanted to show you the market cap. Here we go. 46 million. So it's come down in price in, in relation to my last videos. But it doesn't bother me. Because, you know, what? look, we're talking 50x. This is in dollars. What's it in British pounds? For, I'm just going to use the first two letters. Because 46, right? 40. Oh, come on. Let me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. 46. Uh, 33 million dollar market cap I'm gonna run with I'll run with the 46 it's fine it's in dollars and then I'll just convert it myself later but a 46 million dollar market cap times that by 50 you'd be looking at a 2 billion 2.3 billion dollar market cap but that's in dollars because what is that when you put it in British pounds because it's just under I'm guessing 1718 let's have a look 2.3 oh 2.3 is roughly 1 point what is that 1.6 1.6 billion dollar market cap something like that i've got the light behind me flashing into my laptop because i'm sitting where i'm sitting in the kitchen there's like a, a window behind me and it's really bright and it's coming into my screen i can't see my screen properly so that's why i'm having to like you know move this and stuff so i can get it <laughs> get it into my shadow so i can see it, you know because of my big afro head <laughs> okay but yeah when you see that you can essentially take this price here and times it by 50. And I think this can go higher. Like I said, I really can see this coin doing 100x. But go, you know, go again. <laughs> I tried to say again, it came as go. I'm not cutting it. Times this here by 50, you'd be looking at a £4.24 price for meme pad. And when it does that, you could be setting yourself up for greatness. Uh, you know, do you want to check here as well? I mean, because, you know, 50 times your money, you kind of know already. And I would be investing, again, the average person, I say, should invest £1,000. I showed you 200 for gift, though. That's for the very average person. But for me, because I know I can stake this and I can see the potential with, like, meme type coins, I would just go for the 4000 because I think I'd need to grab as much of this as I can, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, you'd get yourself 11,000. 920 coins this could be game changing for some 
you know, if you had that sort of money to invest, you're not you're not buying Chinese takeouts all the time. You know that egg fried rice with black bean sauce with some prawn crackers and you know vegetable spring rolls. What else do I get? <laughs> some uh, I can't think. Some chips with curry sauce. I buy the whole lot. You best believe. Times it by fifty. Uh, no, <laughs> you can't do it like that. You got to times it by the fifty price, which is four pound what? Four pound twenty four. So we take where's that gone? Nineteen. Yeah, times it by four pounds and 24 pence you'd be looking at fifty thousand five hundred and forty pounds see what i'm saying how huh? when you tie some when you time something by 50 sometimes it's below 50 and above 50 but in this case you're getting uh, more than 50 grand 540 pounds more get my words out i'm not cutting it but yeah that is something for you to you know do your own research and then decide if you want to invest into these coins or not but again, if you're a patron of mine, you know what I'm investing in. You know my strategies and all sorts. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave it. <coughs> get my words out. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. If it was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're watching. I've got to do a shout out to my patrons. I, la I laugh every time because it's so damn long. If you don't want to miss out on exclusive things, like when I'm buying, when I'm selling, all these things, become a patron because they get to see things that you don't see. They get to see my take profits, when I'm gonna, how much I'm selling, when I'm going to sell it at, what I'm buying, when I'm buying it, when I'm going to sell it. Because you best believe I've got short-term investments as well as long-term. Short-term meaning I might just hold it for a week, <coughs> a, a month. <laughs> however long just to make some extra gains so yeah if you don't want to miss that become a patreon click on the posts and check out the posts okay <clears throat> this list shout out to satoshi nakamoto you know who you are big up to you thank you so much i truly appreciate you this list is long and i know there's new patrons as well i haven't even had the chance to update it i do apologize you know i've been busy the last few days but yeah shout out to mr t west Toy and Ottery, Glenda, It's Time, Cover Black, SM, I Dry, Michael, Marco Costanti. I gotta put my screen bright because it's not too bright and I can't see the names properly. Here we go. Hold on. Uh, 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 put my phone on play mode as well. There we go. Where are we? Michael, AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, Hon no, <clears throat> I keep saying Honcho the First. Honcho the First, why not? Because <laughs> he was down. I think he's gone now, but big up to you anyway. Uh, Christopher Johnson. I have to keep updating names. Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Seward Shuckler, Lewis Roach, Natasha F, Carlos Rocha, Mr. Tuffu, Damaris, Samush, Dan Cox, Rahul the God, Dante Kennedy, RG, Bizzle, R Max, Ke oh. <laughs> that's what happens when I rush. Bizzle, Max, Kenneth Whitley, Wiser, Marcella Trevino, Radiax, Radiax Robinson, get it out, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Tyrone Samuel, Stephen Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Evan Fong, Pamela Williams, Brandon, Staxon Rack, <laughs> Rax, I'll put the S yes on the end. Rick, Joffrey Williamson, Omar Thomas, Casper Nell, Aaron Davis, CCP269, Goodfields Nice, Lucas, Albert Lynn, Dominic, Alexander Mangion, Will W, Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shwanda Owens, Paul Palmer, Natana McLaren, Josh Wills. Whoo! That's not a name. <laughs> what am I laughing for? Tom Baird, Marcel SSK, JF1905, Kevin Ward, Sassavi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Chris Steve, Peter Moser, Chris C, Snowy, D Swearing, Andrea Hardin, Posey Woe, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, S. Jar, Claudette Hormiliosa, like Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> you know what I mean. Shakir, <laughs> Shakir Hussein, Jeff Tontich, Ricardo Hernandez, Paul Lamaru, Lamar Lee Seeley, Lamar Lee Seeley, there you go. Cody Harris, Melissa, S. Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Cyril? I know it's one of them. Alexander Ofori, Gilbert Baggins, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Hassan, Celery, The Don, Carlos Cases, Cases? It makes cases. Like when I got a bag of cases, I'm going to put, you know what I mean. Simon, <laughs> that's the only way I can think about it. Kevin Chong, Bleep Bob, Benson Han Powell, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, Joshua, Joshua Menglo, Lo, oh, your two names, Joshua Menglona, Brett Ellis, Alan Zisman, Kalix Games, Crypto Mac, why ain't this scrolling down? Jonathan Bomb, Andres Hall, Andrew Queen, Give Me The Gains, Vilex, West, West <laughs> A, get it out, West A, M Ali, Rocket, Rocket? Team Crypto 101, because it's got a question mark. Bronx Crypto, Mo C, Fiat Justin, Elias Yassin, LSS, Mike V, Joanna Mo Favero, of Oric M, J Fave, Pisso Sullivan, Arash, Chunky South, Saga, Terry JC, Oli, Elton Mazzari, Ricardo Ford, Ovio Broomfield, Fabio de Salsa, Robbie Rodianto, Frank Essa, Nasa, John S, Ignacio, Danny Handy, Elijah Gilliam or Gilliam, Mandisa Harley, G Crypto Loman 7, William Kendall, Chris Chico, Kieran Conway, NM That Man, Magnus, Francis Loco, Dylan Lowe, Zach Adam, Mansour, Kieran Phoenix, Jem de Jaguar, Donnie Davero, 
Nico McDonald, Mark Coyote, Michael Lloyd, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, Exetlios, Stony Mac, John Lowe, <coughs> Ken Marold, Hodlin Training, Seb Screen, Ranjo Singh, I think I said that right, Raffle Cooper, Laura Bruce, Aiden, Ejiki Okori, Luca, A Luca, Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do I got an itchy nose, I have to scratch my nose. <laughs> you know what it's like, just scratch your nose. Where am I? Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do Right, B Invest, Anthony Berry, Zero Perfection, Dwight Thompson, Michael Christensen, Ian Fates, TRG Investments, Branko Dosulik, Marky Cersei, Orin <laughs> Ryan Orange, I was going to say your name backwards, Ryan Williams, Toucan, Santino, Raf Hussein, Kenneth Holmes Jr., Love that name, because it's like a baseball player. Joel. Joel? What are them? Crazy Jam. I think it's Joel. Joel. Because <clears throat> you can say it both ways. Uh, Timothy J. Brusky. Rene. Reen? Rene. I said Crazy Jam. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> I just feel like I'm skipping names. Melissa James Davis. UKMC. No Name. Jack Slater. Oliver. Pablo. Bradley Kim. Lena111. Or Lena111. Dan Pro. Sunny V. Crypto One. Ross Martinu. Hani Abu. Ricardo Vingas. I told you there was loads. Shinadu. Jason Rogers, Oscar Vilgas, Crypto Moon, Nike, Nike, <laughs> Nike Man 911s, new to you, Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Elliot Barron, Akbar, Big Al, Jermaine Allen, Nick Cartanaro, David Adediji, Brian Nolan, Chiquita, I remember when it used to end there, I'm still going on, where am I, John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poonpage, Edgar Cortez, Angel, Ramil, Ramil T TV, there you go, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, SNCC, C. Mullen, Daddy Albus, I'm getting there, Sander Kampong, I'm getting there, Joshua, Joshua Asher, Darnell D, Black Ape, Bob, <laughs> new names again, Bob Russ, Eloy, Mikey, User X 2019, Ibrahim Kamara, Black Star, Chelez Creations, Akis Volderus, love that, like a, po like a potion spell or some kind of Dementor spell, <laughs> You know what it's like with Harry Potter and all sorts. Abid Hussein, Moises D. Lopez, I think that's right. Michael, Keith, I'm at the top of my damn screen again. <laughs> Keith Harrison, Josh, Josephus Samaru, Samaru, Samaru. Oh my god, and you know what I'm like. Nina, no, look, I'm losing it now. Neona Kaduna, because I'm just thinking about wanting to scroll again, you see. Chris Tap Dances, Iris Jack Blias, no, Blias. <laughs> I'm not cut it. Jack Bliss, Montreal Ammon, Joey J, and Raj T. My God, this is what happens when you've got too many damn names. You end up messing up people's last name. But I appreciate you all. Thank you. And all the new people, you're coming into the name call as well. And I'm going to be sitting there for another 15 minutes calling your damn names. But thank you. I appreciate you. 40 messages. I'm going to get to you today. I'm going to sit here for a whole hour and a half messaging you guys. <laughs> thank you all for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.